guys and welcome to another Mad Chili video. This one can be quite short. I, I've been meaning to do this for a few weeks. I totally forgot about it until this afternoon. I thought I have to do this. So what this video is, is basically a tutorial. It is a tutorial about how to get GSX to work if it is reading the wrong AFCAD file. So basically, what an AFCAD file is, it is the file for an airport. And when you get scenery and put it in your add-on scenery scenery folder in FSX, um, it should overwrite uh, in FSX, which it does. However, when you go into GSX, you press Control shift f 12 and you find, hang on a minute, it's using the old scenery. Why? So the reason it's using the old scenery, this is the example, this is how I find out about this bug. Uh, not bug. Um, thing. So, the way I found out, I was thinking, because if you remember my Oslo streams, yeah, if you want an example of what actually happened, go back to, I think it was when I flew from Heathrow to Oslo uh, in the Fly UK A320 a couple of, maybe, maybe even a month and a half, two months ago now. Um, what happened was I found, no, actually it was after that stream, sorry, um, it was, I don't know, oh, Oslo to Manchester, when I got scenery on the Oslo to Manchester one, that's what it was, and I discovered, oh, GSX isn't working, so the reason is, this is uh, the AFCAD file um, for the scenery in question, I, I have it in my download archive, I just do this to tidy up my desktop, I, got, I recommend you guys do this as well, it helps save a little bit of space on your hard drive, but anyway, that aside, um, this is the AFCAD file, and you can see here it's 2.88 megs, so GSX has a limit, I believe, of about 2 megabytes for an AFCAD file, which means any AFCAD file, that includes this one, over 2 meg, it will not read, it will refuse to read it, so what you need to do, this is the tutorial part now, what you need to do um, is go into um, your user, you go to your local disk, uh, which in my case is a C drive, users, whatever your name is, like your user drive is, um, and then you go into app data. Now, you have to make sure that an option that says show hidden items is ticked, um, and then you click on app data. So you go into app data, and then you go into... You go into... It's one of these. <laughs> uh, hmm... Roaming, that's what it is. You go into Roaming, and then you click Virtuali, uh, which is GSX's sort of name, and you can see here's all the information about Coartal and GSX. These are all the things used by GSX. You go into this Coartal file here, and it brings up something. This is a log file, and this it, all you see is that log file bit there. This is the bit I've added in. So, the bit I've added in, it needs to be exactly like this, it is case sensitive, uh, it needs to say airport cache max BGL size, that's an AFCAD file, um, size in bytes. So, by default, this is 2 meg, and this line doesn't exist. When you add in this line, it overwrites it to give it a example. Now, the number I've got pasted in here is what I saw on a forum. Um, this is, this is uh, 8 well, 8 million bytes, okay? Six zeros, yes, uh, as you can see on screen. That equals 8 megabytes. This means anything up to, basically any AFCAD file up to 8 megabytes will now be read by GSX. Uh, the reason for it limiting to 2 megabytes is because of... Um, it is because, basically, apparently it solves load times um, of GSX, so I haven't found that personally, I found it to be, I mean, it still takes a little bit more time maybe to read the airport cache, but it still doesn't take long. Um, this is what I've said to about 8 meg, none of my sceneries are larger than 4 meg, so I could potentially turn that down, but uh, this, is what I've, this is what it said on the forum, so I went with that. Uh, if you've got a scenery that you find is 10 meg, just pop it up a little bit. If you need help, just search megabyte, no, search byte to me no, megabytes to bytes, and then put in the megabyte value, and it will give you the byte value, which is what you need to enter in here, okay? That's about it, and now if I go into it, to FSX, I won't because it will take ages to load up, but if I go into it now, it will 
load up Oslo and it will show um, the correct Oslo scenery. If I got rid of this line, it would show the default scenery. So that, that's about it, really. Nice. That is about it. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I really wanted to make this ever since I discovered about discovered it and I never got round to it. So here is that video. I hope everyone finds it really useful. As I, said, I spent a good bit of time, I spent hours trying to figure this out. So I hope this shortens the process of searching for it. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.